Super lucky! My alarm actually rang right as I finished that recording. Alright. What the hell? Alright. Now everything's culminating to this very last part. After we defeat Sigma, the world can rest safe. I like how it's level 25. That's not bad. To be honest, all the other ones were like uh, 95. They're all about... All about to hit 100. I keep thinking this thing's on. I mean off when it's supposed to be on. Uh, one, two, there we go. Leave it like that. <sighs> All right. <laughs> Impressive. The number one Reploid. You are. You came much earlier than I expected. Why? Why do you do this? Because of Zero. To awaken Zero from his false self. Well, there's dots and points where I should be stopping, but I am doing this professionally, so... What? That wasn't supposed to be X. I've changed. I've changed. Conduit. Wait, con... Con... Duck. I... Oh, fucking... I, I feel stupid right now. I shouldn't. Conduits. Con... Uh, conduct... It's conducted. Why can't I read the word conducted? I've conducted thorough, yeah, thorough reach, research. When well, you're trying to voice act for your LP, but you can't. I just want to comment on Sigma's design. Jesus, he's so much huger than X. X is just little over there in the corner. Look at Sigma. Jesus, and he's got that weird cape thing like, with those wings. He came down. You saw him earlier, right? He came down like a bird. Like, Jesus. And those sh those feet, though. They're like shields. Like, he got a proto shield. Cut that kind of in half, and they put that on his foot. There's those feet. Jesus Christ. Those feet are the same size as X. Not even X's feet. The old X looks ridiculous in that armor. Have you seen Sigma's feet? Those legs. Like, what? I like how those pants are just like these stretchy pants, and then, you know, and there's just all this fucking armor over there. <sighs> just want to make that little comment. And research, a tremendous result. I wanted to find out what Zero truly is. And scatter the virus all over the Earth to purify his body. But the amount of the virus was insignificant. It's, it's not insignificant. It's not. It's already gone. It's off the screen. I fucked it up. So I used the rundown colony, making it a virus colony, and let it land on the earth. You know the outcome, don't you? You almost annihilated the earth for that. You're sick. Fortunately, there are those handy guys called Maverick Hunters, ever ready and bold to come to the rescue, and I knew the earth would be safe and sound, but alas, most of the hunters have also become mavericks. <laughs> that was a close one. <laughs> you. Uh, I like how it's just the same voice, <laughs> it's the same voice for all the characters. You. How many hunters have been lost because of you? I'll never forgive you for this. You're going to pay for pet pet pet. I just realized you have the pet foot. This mic doesn't have a filter to, to filter out all that stuff. So, man, it must like to be you guys going through this. <laughs> but you're watching the video, so fuck. Going to pay for what you've done. There's more to it. This music though. Sigma has a weakness. A weakness. Oh god, I remember his weakness. It's Tri Thunder. And I'll tell you what, this does not shoot in three directions. Fuck you. Oh shit. It's a little too early for me. I 
Ah, my finger. Ah, my middle finger. It's in the back of the controller. That's not good for me. There's nowhere else to rest it, though. Okay, Sigma. Fuck you. <laughs> okay, this is the final battle, so I will actually use this. And this is, this is the final battle. I'm gonna stop fucking around. Oh, fuck. Got him. Sick. Ma. That's X with the horse voice uh, dying from uh, Sigma. I also like the background. But that background should have been the background for uh, the X versus Zero fight. The X versus Zero fight should have been way more better. <laughs> the number 100 you are X. The stronger you are, the more I want to destroy you. It was pointless to have Zero fight you. After all, you are the number one hunter. You know, Sigma's gay for X, X is gay for Zero, and Zero's gay for Sigma. <sighs> Can't be the only one who thinks that. He seems to have created quite a few robots. It has given me. Well, I shouldn't say gay, but you know what I mean. So there's some yaoi's going on here. You know, Zero's got some big hands. I don't know if you noticed from uh, X4. I point out if I uh, when I do a uh, walk uh, a video, if I do a uh, commentate over that, uh, let's play of that. I'll point out when Zero has these uh, big ass yaoi hands. You 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 you'll see it. Don't don't, don't worry. Um, this music though, that body in this background, Jesus. I will leave a link in the description, actually, to uh, not only when Zero has Yowie hands. So I, I, I'm still gonna point it out. Don't worry. I probably, I probably will. I probably will forget. But uh, check the description right now. You're gonna find uh, a link to this decisive battle, which is a very cool way of showing X versus Zero. Uh, I'll actually sh uh, leave a link in the description for all of the parts that I can remember there being. Um, a bit of spoilers there for uh, <laughs> Zero Series um, as well, but um, uh, besides saying that the games are all load, this music is actually pretty cool. <laughs> I'll also leave a link down to where Zero got them Yowie ants. Just just look at Zero in that in that video. And you'll be like, oh shit, you're right. You got them Yowie ants, boy. Um, basically, sounds a big as f. As fuck! Oh, I was gonna read that part. Oh, I could just skip with the bumpers to know that. Fact, he used to be a comrade of yours. He was very persistent about you, and that makes him very helpful to me. You see, X, there is someone other than me who hates you. Now feel your arc, combine rage, and die! But not before suffering horribly. <laughs> Goodbye, X. It should have been goodbye and then pause next. Oh, this is the final battle music. That'll be a little bit more epic, right? I take it though. This is his okay, well fuck you signal. Ah oh, fuck. This is his weakness. There we go. Look, he's retreating! 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 Before I touch that and die. And I'm all out, guys. This has to be my final stand. People just usually just do that. Oh, shit. Wow. 
Okay, I call bullshit on that, Sigma. Ultimate armor in this form? Very, very useful. Very, very. <laughs> I'm about to die again. I mean, I'm not again. I'm about to die. This is gonna be really bad because I'm not supposed to die on this part right here. I don't remember this, but uh, I'm gonna try not to die by this and kill him as fast as possible. <laughs> oh no! Oh shit! If you thought I'm abusing the Giga Tank, please know I would have to fight Form 1 Sigma without any E tanks or weapon tanks. But do know uh, the Spike Ball move is his weakness. Gah! Darn, but I'll never die alone. Yeah, I'll take Zero down with me. No! Stop using Zero as a shield. Yeah! Isn't it powerful? I mean, painful. Others suffer. You can put up, but can't. Especially, I'm important to you. Ah, that's a secret message. Hey, you know what? 16. It should. Honestly, his level should have been 99. His first form should have been 99. This form should be an 100 and uh, whatever. X. X is like half a torso right now. Half a torso and a head. In case you don't know what this is implying, that's Dr. Light, spirit form. Or, uh, you could say he's a prototype cyber elf. Not yet. Actually, I want you to rest and relax for now. Hold on, X. Just for a few more moments. Forget all the painful memories. One week from then. I think it would be a bit more uh, crazier for, uh, if it said two weeks from then. Because two weeks from then is when X6 takes place. Um, I'm not going to be playing X6, by the way. That game... It's just a mess. It's not even a hot mess. It's just a shitty mess right there. This music is actually pretty nice, to be honest. Pretty nice music. One week from then... Hunter A, Captain X, don't you remember anything about what happened? You're still on about that? I can't do a impression of X, what is it, 7X? The answer is no, I don't remember anything. You see, Captain X and Zero, Captain Zero and X, are both special A-level hunters, for all to see. You work together and solve a lot of problems. I remember Sigma, his name doesn't leave me. But I don't have any memory of Zero. Maybe whoever repaired me deleted the data by mistake. D did he really delete your memory? Hey, stop it now. We better think it's a miracle that Captain X came back safely. It truly is a miracle. Not only he did he come back, but without so much as even a scratch. It's hard to repair the bodies of X and Zero. Because there's still a mystery. It's not a miracle, I bet. You never believe it's a miracle. I'm not interested in miracles. I don't think Repoids dream of miracles either. But why was only Zero's memory data deleted from X? I have no idea. Maybe it's disappeared by itself? Otherwise it was delete it on purpose. Besides, there's a protection now. I think I read that correctly, I'm not even sure. He won't even accept data related related zero. I couldn't program such a protection. We've got another mystery about X. Captain X, although it would take time. By the way, I saw voice acting, I just started to beat it. I think this battle lead to peace. Kind of with the voice acting type of thing. It will. We need to work harder for that for peace. What is your private dream? Huh? I've never thought about it. Well, I've got it. I want to create Elysium. Elysium? Yes. It's a song from Bloodstained Child. 
Oh no, it's mentioned in the lyric, but and that's not the point. The point here, it's a paradise where the human race coexists with reploids peacefully called Neo Arcadia. I mean, yes, that is my dream. We'll like to, I'd like to create Elysium. Someday in the near future. I wish Captain Zero were here. Huh? Yeah! I'm talking about Zero again? No, nothing. Elysium. Oh yes, I'll do it someday. I like how this scene, that, that dialogue was after Alia said, or whatever her name is. Um, Reploids don't have dreams. <laughs> well, Jax has a dream. Uh, let's go through the, uh, the director's Okaida 14. Planner? Akirtiri? These are Japanese names that I cannot read. Well, I can read them, but I just can't pronounce them. Watanabe. Look, I read the name. Couldn't pronounce that shit. Fumaki Saito. I'm not going to do this very Englishly. Remember those characters? Like, three of them are like way more important than Mr. Lifesaver over there. I forgot to read. I was just thinking. <laughs> Do you know Douglas never makes an appearance after this game? At least I think. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Did you know? That character never makes an appearance? I don't fucking know though. Go on, I don't fucking keep hold of this game. Game series. Oh! What did people say till the credits? I mean, it's gone. I mean, you're not waiting for a certain, like, certain name to fucking appear. Like, oh shit! Look, the original designer, Sensei Saito. Oh, like, no, no one's doing that shit. Do know? Uh, I still would have said that if it was a very American name. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, that picture of Duff McWellen. That's actually them zooming into his eye. Jesus. I should like how all the screenshots of the Mavericks are like of their head and face. But Duff McWellen is just of his teeth and then his eye. Yeah, that little spot right there where his teeth end. That is his eye, by the way. Um, I like how they reuse the designs of the Pegasus boss, the Bat boss, and... Oh yeah, the squid box, because there's a, there's actually a squid in uh, zero 04. Uh, zero 04, there's a Pegasus boss, and in zero 03, there was a bat boss, so they reused some of the animals. Which I'm not too happy about, to be honest. Um, I do like, though, I like how in X5, though, it's killing animals slash plants. So, everything else besides yeah, human bots, you're uh, killing. PETA should, uh, you know, uh, fringe upon this game. You know, like, hey. I like how you said it's a. Uh, I'm joking about that. I like how you said it's a run down colony. Do know it's a space colony. Like, holy shit. Special thanks to Kenji and Hune. Whoever that is, I don't fucking know. He's like some mighty dude. He's like the number nine mighty dude. <sighs> but I don't Did the music change? Let's see that shit, because I took all my headphones, by the way. Yup, this is it! <sighs> I like how it shows this. Why? Look at, look at that rank with zero. SA. 10 out of 10 right there. I'm best with zero. Hunter rank A with X. Playtime, 2 hours. Thank you for playing, and, um... Okay, with the ending we just saw, why does X in this end credit have the saber for zero? That would mean that the super bad ending is not canon to anything uh, X related. So the super bad ending is not canon. The canon ending is X taking upon zero saber. Uh, 
Now, do you know, this is not me saying, oh, because of X6. This is just me saying because it's on screen. Like, if X6 or any of the X games, if this game just came out and I was like, oh, I'm playing X5 for the first time, and then I see that, I'll be like, wait a second, what? And I replay it, I got the ending with that. I'll be like, okay, well, that ending is canonical. Because don't you think this right here is the canon ending to X5? I know it's like supposed to be interpreted and all that stuff, but I mean, look at that. X is holding his saber. And the ending we got, the super bad ending, or I, which I, I thought after seeing this and thinking it to myself right now again, um, that where Zero goes fully Maverick, I thought that one was supposed to be the not the good ending, but the most canon ending, because it makes sense. Um, but this. This right here, it, why does he have a saber? And why does it show that one? Like, I got a different ending from where that one goes. Hmm. Return to title. Well, that was the end of X5. Did see either my batteries died? No, they didn't. Oh, okay. Uh, training. This is an all-around hunter who can attack enemies at long range. This is a good choice for beginner players. You call me a beginner? Yeah, I'll choose this one. A B special. Yeah. Lead hunter, but he's rank B. All right. Yax zero. That flash needs to stop though. This is powerful. This is a powerful hunter who can flash enemies at close range. This is a good choice for advanced players. I'm advanced. I can do it. Uh. Anyway, this is going to be my playthrough of the Zero series. Am I re-recording after this? No. Um, I'm doing this part again so I don't have to do it later. Uh, let, let's let begin the training. Are you ready, Zero? I'll navigate you uh, through this whatever hunter thing. So, this is my playthrough as Zero. Zero can I double jump? Bullshit. Zero has this, by the way. And he has this, which no one really likes using. Enemy ahead of you. With your Z Buster, you can attack them from a distance. But your main weapon is the Z Saber. Press the attack button rapidly. Then you could. Okay, so we just fell in some of the room. Then you can perform very powerful actions. If you want to cancel a combination attack, just try jumping or crouch. No, so he could do this. This. Ah, oh, two shots, not too bad. Enemy in the hole underground. You can attack the enemy with your saver. It says saver right there. What the hell is this? Oh, this must be for my headphones. This is weird black stuff. Let's see, I am still on. Alright, good. There's some rest because you have to get close to them. This is your wish and take advantage of terrain. Ignore the enemy and jump over it. You can adjust how far you jump by how long you press the jump button. Your enemy is in a difficult place to attack, but that is common in real life situation. Watch the timing of their attack. Plus to a blast attack. After you land, you can perform a combination attack. Giant enemy ahead of you. This type of enemy doesn't move. It specializes in their ability. Pay attention to the attack pattern. Go close on the attack and run. Flee like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Your the special moves you have learned be very useful. <laughs> or I could just spam the Z Buster. 
Did you just buy the cooldown ladders? I wall without any ladder. Jump to the wall, and if you touch the wall, you die. Let's just do this. Can you see the yellow rope in front of you? Jump to it, and then when you touch it, press the threshold pad up. Then you can grab and hang onto the rope. Oh my god. Can you imagine if uh, Zero would uh, actually die during this? You know, get damaged until he explodes? Alright, that's not fun. Watch the floor in front of you. Can you see the spike trap? Don't touch no matter what or you will die on the spot. In case like this, do a dash jump. If you jump while dashing, you can jump further. Hey, it's air dash. Let's try doing this. Go through the uh, shutter. There, you encounter the boss of the training area. I have em emulated the dragoon for your training. Don't rush to attack him. Fight wisely by using the attack and run strategy. You must fight against heavy odds using your saber because you can you because you can use your Z Buster only when you're on the ground. This is the final stage of training. Good luck, Zero. Also, I've not played as Zero. Uh, oh, cool! Fire when you're when you're grounded. Z Buster. All right. Well, without the Z Buster, it actually says Z Saber. Or Saber. Uh, return to the game. Whatever. Uh, my playthrough of Zero will only be using Zero, no X, so I won't actually have the. Uh, the fourth armor. I always thought when he did that, he became a Cyclops. Um, Oh, I think I'm wrong about that. Nice. Okay. Well, that includes this part. Oh, yeah. And, well, that's the end of that. So that's my that's my that's been my playthrough of Mega Man X5. Next part of X5 is actually uh, zero part. <laughs>